Hi, I'm Kaiser. Let's look at a real life problem and use some game theory to analyze it. We'll be looking at a game involving two players, drivers in this case, and their interaction at an empty crossing. The first driver, indicated by the blue car, is heading down the road as seen. She spots another driver heading in from her right, and they will both be reaching the intersection at the same time. The red player can see her too, and so he will be faced with the same choices, either to go or to stop. We are assuming they want to maximise their own utility. The two drivers are going to need to make a decision simultaneously and without any communication between themselves. To look at this game, I presented it in normal form, with the blue numbers for the payoffs for the first driver, red for the second driver. If they both get go, they'll get minus 8 each. Having an accident is really bad. If they both stop, they only get minus 1, losing a little utility both, because they're just stop waiting pointlessly. If one goes and the other doesn't, then that driver that goes gains a utility of 1, whilst the other driver is just neutral, with zero utility. In this scenario, we can solve our game by finding out how player 1 and player 2 should respond, based off of the options present, which we'll do now. We want to find out what each player is best off doing, given the actions of the other in this interdependent game. Looking at driver 1, if driver 2 were to go, she would be best off stopping, since 0 is greater than minus 8. And if driver 2 were to stop, then she'd gain more utility by going. This is a symmetric game, so the case will apply for driver 2 when considering, considering driver 1's action profile. Let's take a step back and see what this means. Remember, the square showed what action would bring them the highest individual utility, given what action the other chooses. So we can say that the mutual best response occurs when one player goes and the other stops. This scenario is known as a Nash equilibrium and is the stable point because no player can improve their own utility by themselves. In this case, however, we've got two. So which do we end up in? This is where in real life, traffic lights come in handy. They will force the game into either Nash equilibrium by acting as a signal that lets, the other, that, that lets the players coordinate to an action that neither has an incentive to move away from. So the lesson is that you should obey traffic lights. In this game, we learn how to analyse a game to find its Nash equilibrium. We also discovered that sometimes you need a signalling mechanism to arrive at an actual solution. I hope you enjoyed this video and could take something away. If you enjoyed it or know someone who drives like a madman, please share this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.